Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you some timers or so-called pulse extenders because I want to show you some basic circuits that I'm using quite often in my redstone builds so you can use them in your redstone contraptions as well and pulse extenders are definitely one of them. So what you can see here is actually just something I already showed you in one of those videos which is a comparative fade out. What this does is that it actually retracts um, the redstone signal inside the cell always by one level each time it goes around in a circle so this will turn out after quite some time. For short times this is a quite good way to extend the pulse and this is also the way that I'm using but if you um, want to have bigger times for something then uh, we are reaching a problem here. This one now has 12 comparators, so every 12 ticks it would retract one redstone level, but the input is not long, en long enough anymore to fill this thing up with a redstone level of 15, and what we get is some sort of a clock fade out, which kind of behaves in a weird way, and actually it gets quite big, quite quick as well. So once you reach a amount of comparators that are about 8 to 10, I highly recommend to not use this anymore, but switch over to an actual timer setup. This is what I've got over here, and this is the one that I'm always using for this. It's a hopper timer, and so it behaves in a way that the output, which you can see over here, gets turned on for a certain amount of time. In this case, it's 8 seconds because I've got 10 items in there. It's always 0.8 items per second. And then it turns off after some time again and you can create a very large time with this setup. How this works is a little bit more complicated because we are putting the output from this hopper here into this comparator but because this torch is turned on this gets overwritten from the side and so the output doesn't get passed through to this one here and so uh, this comparator is blocked and this one isn't. But when I press the button the torch will get turned off and so there will be an output coming through to the other side and then this one is blocked so the items will all get into this one and only once this is empty uh, the torch will get turned uh, on again because this has no input anymore and so it resets itself and this is how this timer works and that is what I'm using if I need to use a timer in my redstone build which is longer than a normal fade out. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did and if you like this video then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then have a great day.